they praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. So gather together to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord. We are uh, blessed to have uh, Ms. Jennifer Broaddus with us today, St. James School uh, principal, and uh, we pray for St. James today in a special way. Uh, the school, uh, all of our children, all of our families, and of course all of our school children throughout the, the diocese. And so gather together now as God's people, uh, believing in Jesus risen from the dead, we are reminded of our sinfulness and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, Grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John. All the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. 
everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, you are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, in your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. And then he said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I, myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. As he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. And he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as we enter into the Gospel story, we, we have the disciples who were on their way to Emmaus, and they are back now with the, uh, uh, after experiencing Jesus and the breaking of the bread, they are back with the disciples. And in that moment, as they're sharing that, that Jesus had appeared to them, Jesus appears to all of them. And it's really quite striking. And, and for our own spiritual lives, it becomes a, a, quite a moment of uh, faith and hope and love. Because uh, as Jesus says to the disciples, peace be with you, he is offering that same peace to us. Uh, uh, and, and we 
are therefore called to experience him in our lives, in our daily lives, in each moment of our lives. Uh, and Jesus is saying to us in the midst of this coronavirus, why are you troubled? <laughs> why do such questions rise in your hearts? Uh, look at my hands and my feet, that it is I, that the risen Lord Jesus is with us now. Um, and he even goes to the, the length of trying to make the disciples comfortable by eating a piece of fish in their midst. midst. The risen Lord Jesus eating a piece of fish. Wow. If he goes that kind of length for them, he does the same for us, for each of us. And he calls us to that peace, that peace. So throughout the day today, let's invite the peace of the risen Lord Jesus into our lives throughout the day. First here at the Eucharist, as he is present in his body and blood, risen from the dead, he's with us. But throughout the day, whether we're studying or whether we're with family or whatever at work, whatever is going on, that we allow the peace of Christ to touch us. Uh, and especially if there's stuff going on that's difficult, uh, it's time to say, peace be with this moment. Peace be with you. The peace of Christ be with us. So to all the children throughout the day, as stuff happens, as you're playing games, as you're whatever's going on with the family, with your parents, tell them, Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. And expect a response from them. <laughs> and also with you. <laughs> and with your spirit. Let's pray during this Eucharist. So calling the peace of Christ into our lives. We offer our prayers and our petitions to our loving God, knowing God hears and answers each of them. That the church may continue to proclaim a suffering Messiah and the need to unite with him in his trials in order to emerge with him in his glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our political leaders, that they may be willing to be guided by the holy and righteous ones who point out the ways that lead to justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who is still our loving companion, hidden in the Holy Eucharist, may give us the grace to truly build our lives around His life-giving presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God, our Father, will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all persevere in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our intentions, and the intentions of those who support our Catholic sharing appeal, that the Lord who knows our hearts and our needs will give us the grace, healing, and the peace that we seek. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our faithful departed, who participated with us in the breaking of the bread, that they may now be feasting with the Lord, recognized and adored in His holy kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in silence, we offer our special and personal prayers. For all these prayers, the prayers of the whole church, uh, for all those that have asked our prayers, for healing we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, may your peace rest upon our hearts, rest upon our lives, rest upon our families, rest upon our church, and rest upon our world. The peace of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, through the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and your belongs to the Holy Church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, mm. when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. May this be the of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll continue to have Mass live at 11.30 during the week and on Sunday at 11 a.m. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. God.